Hello, my name is Ross McCarthy. I'm a senior lecturer at this institute. The work of a canine behaviour practitioner can be very varied. And whilst we all imagine that going into people's homes and resolving canine behavioural issues is an ideal job, it can at times be very difficult. Entering a property with an aggressive dog, dealing with people that may be unwilling or unable to follow your advice, and calming family disputes can be a regular occurrence. It can bring immense joy and satisfaction. Making a difference and helping dogs and people is why most of us choose this occupation. The Cambridge Institute of Dog Behaviour and Training has a large number of courses covering all aspects of canine behaviour, psychology and training. The courses are modular in design and these can be enrolled upon at any stage throughout the year. So how do you become a dog behaviourist and start a new and exciting career? This depends on your existing level of knowledge. So if you have quantifiable experience of a minimum of six months, you can apply via a resume sent through the contact page of this website. In the event that you do not have experience, you must complete the foundation module. This gives you a basic understanding of dog behaviour and psychology in practice. The nationally recognised standard is the Pet Education Training and Behaviour Council Diploma, which consists of four CIDBT modules, an example of which is shown here. The final module that concludes the Canine Behaviour and Psychology Diploma is a single professional practice module with the Pet BC which they deliver, and this can be found on the website by clicking on the blue tab on the top of the home page and then scrolling down. Generally speaking, each of our courses or modules has a maximum time limit of six months to complete. This can, however, be dependent on workshop dates. Some CIDBT courses are exclusively distance learning and others are distance learning and workshop attendance. All of our workshops are also available to attend as standalone courses for continued professional development if you so choose. Our workshops are held centrally in the UK at the Kennel Club Training Centre in Warwickshire along with our conference centre in Buckinghamshire. At our workshops, meeting other students is of great value there's plenty of time to speak with fellow canine professionals who generally have vast, varied and often unique insights into the world of dogs and dog behaviour. This can fuel an interest in a new area and definitely speeds up your learning. People who wish to be a dog behaviourist sometimes think that it is about explaining in consultation why a dog displays certain types of problematic behaviour, which is of course a part of the process. However, unless you can skillfully handle dogs who display aggression, which is one of the most common problems that behaviourists see, then you'll be unable to lead by example and assist clients effectively or successfully. We teach this using our National Dog Training Instructor Certificate, which is shown in the adjacent film on this website. Something that makes the CIDBT unique is the specialist tutors that we provide all work full-time in client-centred dog behaviour and related occupations in addition to teaching on our courses. For example, we have police dog handlers, canine behaviourists, rescue centre managers, pet bereavement counsellors and dog trainers specialising in various disciplines such as gun dog training, working trials and scent detection dogs, as well as pet dog trainers. Whilst our tutors still work in the industry full-time, a prerequisite is life skills 
and experience. And each of the CIDBT tutors have worked in various disciplines for over 10 years in canine behaviour, psychology and training. Our workshop venues offer bespoke facilities that are second to none. Our tutors are relaxed, friendly and inclusive and all strive to teach, mentor and guide our students. Our methods of behaviour reformation and training are flexible and always open for discussion. We do not have a one-size-fits-all approach, nor do we close our mind to different methods or promote a certain ideal, but we work from an inclusive, realistic and client-focused viewpoint. We are simply here to guide and facilitate learning, share experiences and to promote effective strategies. As within any institution, we too are open to learning and sharing. Understanding dogs, along with types of aggression, is essential when working with clients. Establishing realistic goals and time-bound reformation is essential, as is you leading by example. Demonstrating methods and setting them on their way to success. The CIDBT is the education department of the Canine and Feline Behaviour Association. This is the UK's largest canine and feline specific membership body and they welcome applications from skilled canine professionals. You may be able to use your CIDBT qualifications combined with practical experience to join the CFBA. We have a number of commonly asked questions. The first of which is can I do more than one module at once? and the short answer to that is yes you can. However, it is advisable to start with one module so that you can see the content and the level of which you will be required to work. Another common question is at what point can I enrol? Well the good news is you can start immediately. Normally with the foundation module unless you have been supplied with an email to forego that module. You can then enrol via the website at any stage. Upon enrolling, you will immediately receive a receipt and welcome information. Your tutor will then contact you via email with your welcome pack and phase one of your chosen course. Once this phase has been completed and returned to your tutor, it's marked and sent back to you for your further comments along with a multiple choice questionnaire to complete. Once this is finished entirely, then phase two will be sent to you and so on until the course is complete. How many workshops do I have to do is another common question because of course people often work full time in addition to doing these courses. So generally speaking, most people don't attend any more than two workshops a year. But these do however always take place at the weekend in order that it's not too disruptive to your normal working week. So how long does it take to get a qualification? Well, that very much depends on you and the time that you have available to invest. Most people can achieve the diploma in under 18 months, providing that workshop modules are booked well ahead. Now let's hear from some recent students and what they have achieved. This is introduced by Dr Roger Mugford at our educational stand at the Crufts Dog Show. Dogs deserve to have people who know what they're talking about, especially if they call themselves trainers and behaviourists. The Cambridge Institute provides that knowledge, which is the essential starting point for fair and balanced dog training. So that means qualified people, people who've studied, and people who've been instructed by those who know. People who accept that dogs are hierarchical animals, that they have a sense of fairness, and they also need payoffs, pleasure and rewards, and they need penalties when they behave badly. That a balanced approach to dog training is one of the key marks that you'll learn at the Cambridge Institute. And that is my mantra. Okay, my name's Jo Croft and my background, my career in dog behaviour started at the age of 11 when I started a small dog walking business. Uh, that catapulted me into wanting to be a veterinary nurse, a career which I did for 17 years in total. Towards the end of that career, I looked into doing dog behaviour classes and dealing with dog aggression cases in practice. 
And from there, I decided that I wanted to be wanted to look at cases in a bit more detail and work on a one-to-one -one basis with clients. So during my veterinary nursing career, I heavily into dog behaviour and decided I wanted to increase my academic knowledge in this field. So I sourced several courses with the Cambridge Institute of Dog Behaviour and Training and went about booking on their workshops and doing their theoretical work. One of the big things in practice that we deal with was dog-to-dog -dog aggression. One of the workshops that I did was dog-to-dog -dog aggression as it was something that was quite important within my field of work at the time. Within the workshop we worked with live dogs, we were all questioned on our ability and we were given strong guidance by the instructors at the time. We were given real life examples of case studies to deal with and put in front of the case to question the owner, make an assessment and then set behaviour modification programmes. The instructors on the course watched us do this and talked us through the necessary requirements for achieving a positive result. The clients as a result afterwards were then monitored throughout to understand how our behaviour programmes worked in practice and in real life. I am um, a primary school teacher and I've been studying with the Cambridge Institute of Dog Training and Behaviour. I've always been interested in dogs, worked a lot with rescue dogs, had a lot of dogs of my own, which led me to want to study, broaden my theory and work alongside trainers and, and move into that sort of career. So it's something I, I do alongside my teaching job. Um, I've done the aggression courses to date and I'm continuing my professional development. Um, in the workshops you meet people from diverse backgrounds which is really interesting. At the last one I attended I met somebody from the Wolf Trust, um, a police dog handler, uh, pet dog trainers, and it's interesting to come together and share your viewpoints and your experience and, and have an opportunity. Sometimes dog training is quite isolated and you feel a, a bit like an island operating on your own. So it's nice to meet with people from your sector and share all your ideas and experience. On the dog on dog aggression, um, we looked at the different causes of aggression, why dogs react the way they do and how best to help owners and dogs overcome the situation. There's a really important human element in this because it's very distressing for people to watch their dogs at, at, engaging in fights with other dogs. It's very dramatic and it's very scary. So it's useful to, to sort of understand the owner perspective as well as the dog perspective. And in contrast, um, with the dog on people aggression, you have to be much more aware of the legal ramifications of owning an aggressive dog. So the course covers that. It also covers the causes and possible solutions for dog on people aggression. Um, and again, it it's a, sort of covers all the different angles that you need to be able to, to take those cases on, as well as give you safety tips and the confidence to be able to address what is probably the most challenging situations you'll be faced with. Outside of my teaching job, about 18 months ago, I contacted a gun dog trainer, because I'm particularly interested in gun dog training, called James Rivel, who took me on in a sort of a mentor role. Um, we started together to do one-to-ones and I assisted. And from there, I grew into doing my own classes, running small groups, and doing um, behaviour, basic training and gun dog training. My name is Christina and I'm originally from Latvia. I came to UK 12 years ago now and I work as a dog trainer and behaviourist at the moment. I got involved with dogs in my early childhood where I was brought up in a farm surrounding with loads of German Shepherds, farm dogs, working dogs. So when I came to UK, I felt deep passion for dogs and I was looking to get involved with dog training and behaviour. It comes from a passion. I, at the moment, I work as a dog trainer, one-to-one -one with the customers at their houses, in their parks, and also I do dog behaviour consultations for behaviour problems uh, at clients' homes. I really like Cambridge Institute. Uh, tutors are really friendly, helpful, and courses are written in a really good way, so 
it's easy to work through them. Uh, it's really easy to understand what, what you need to do to achieve your qualifications. So I really enjoy it. Uh, workshops are joyful, uh, fun, educational. Really enjoy it. Attending workshops, you have opportunity to meet people that are passionate about dogs and work in the dog training and behaviour as well. So you build your network through, throughout the workshops whilst learning. Currently I'm working uh, for Dog Training and Behaviour Diploma, which is uh, recognised by Pet Education Training and Behaviour Council. I'm a member of a Guilds of a Dog Trainers uh, Association, so potential customers can find me through their website. Also I have my own website where potential customers can find my services and contact me through there. I enjoyed the courses with Cambridge Institute of Dog Training and Behaviour very much and the reason for this is because the courses are very well organised, you know a clear deadlines and um, understanding of what is requested of you and also I'm extremely passionate about dogs so that helps you to get through the courses. As you have just heard, many of our students have successfully established new careers in this industry. If you have any questions, you can email us via the website here. Once you have checked out the FAQ section, which is here. I hope that you have found this information useful and we very much look forward to welcoming you on a CIDBT course soon, so that you can start to move towards your goal of a new and exciting career in dog behaviour and training.